connect all three transistor to breadboard which the flat side here as you can see is place is facing you or towards the negative side which each of their pins connected in different rows since the flat side is facing to you the leg the left pin is called the collector the middle pin is called the base and the right pin is called the emitter Using jumper wire, connect the base of first transistor to the emitter of second transistor. Similarly, did it to the second transistor and to the third transistor. Leave the base of the third transistor to be untouched. Connect the end of 100K resistor to the connector of first transistor and the other end is on an, or a new row. Attach lead where we connect the longer leg to the positive rail of breadboard using wire, like this one. And using wire, we connect this longer leg to the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect the other 100K resistor to the collector of second transistor and the other end is on the positive rail of the breadboard. Connect the 1M resistor to the collector of the third transistor and on the positive rail of the breadboard. Add wire to serve as antenna to the middle pin of the third transistor. Connect the emitter of the first transistor to the ground pin of the breadboard. Connect the battery to the breadboard using the connecting clip. The positive is the red and the negative is the black. Now that we attach the 9 volts battery to the breadboard, we can now have this setup, the static electricity sensor.